Okay, so welcome to another driving test video. So today I'm with Jennifer from King's Heath Test Centre in South Birmingham. So we're going to do a full length driving test to show you what this test is all about. Um, we're going to go straight into it now. I'll do another video soon showing you what happens before the test begins. But for now, straight into it. Okay, so you ready to go? Yep. Yep, so first of all, before we begin, imagine you've come out of the test centre there. Um, you've done the eyesight test, which imagine we've done that back up there. You've signed the form to say that the car's insured. So we're going to start from the show me tell me bit. So can you show me first of all, how would you change the headlights from a dipped beam to a full beam? And how would you check that from inside the car? Um, I would move this over to the far right. Yep, just show me that. Yeah, like that. I'm going to talk by the way, and I'm an examiner. So okay. if I say things that sound a bit weird, it's because I'm not me anymore. So <laughs> okay. I'll be uh, an examiner. Okay, yeah, I'll um, turn it all the way to that and I can check it because there will be a light on my dashboard. How would you send the full beam on there? <clears throat> the full beam, it would be this button here on the side. Oh, that's the fog light, sorry, it's this button here on the top. That's it. Can and you show me how forward. you do that? That's it. Put it forward like that's that. It. And how would you know that it's on from inside the car? Again, there's a light on the yeah, dashboard. Yeah, that's good, that's fine. Um, can you tell me how you know if there's a problem with the anti-lock braking system? And Otherwise known as the ABS. The ABS. There'd be a red exclamation yep. mark on the, on the okay. dashboard. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we're going to drive around. Um, you've done a test before, but I'll talk as though you haven't done one before. So it's going to be about 35 to 40 minutes, roughly. Um, we'll do one manoeuvre. Maybe an emergency stop, maybe not. Um, and they'll be part of independent driving as well. Um, okay. Any time I don't give you directions, just follow the road ahead. Um, okay. Unless road signs or markings direct you otherwise. If I want you to turn, I'll tell you in plenty of time. Um, if you want me to repeat any of that, just ask me and I can repeat that. Okay. Anything you're not sure of, you can check. Um, but of course, you can't ask me things like speed limits, things like that. Okay. Okay, so because your view is quite limited on this road, what I'm going to do is I'll help you with what's coming from ahead, but I won't tell you what's coming from behind. So when you're ready, we'll turn on um, okay. and we'll get moving. I'm just going to switch the air cut on there. Um, that'll be okay now. So at the moment, there's nothing I can see coming from ahead. Uh, it's still clear. So at the end of the road, we'll go left. Into this road will go right. When the road splits into two, we're going to follow it to the left.
the next road on the right. Pull up on the left somewhere, it doesn't matter about driveways anywhere, just before the first car then. Quite soon before the driveway. Okay, so we're now going to start the independent driving. So, the first one, I'm just going to draw a diagram. What, do you want to see a diagram or not? Because you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, please. You're smiling out much, but... Uh, so there's going to be three roundabouts. So, all it's going to be is, starting from here, it's going to be left, right, and then right, if that helps. <laughs> it's a bit of a funny diagram. Left, so, three right, roundabouts, right. left, right, right. Okay. But just left, show people right, that, right. it's a bit, a bit funny. You'll get a proper diagram on the real test. Okay, that's quite a short one, and then, and then we'll carry on from there. Okay. on the left it doesn't matter about driveways again if we can do it just sort of mm, just after the silver car anyway but I'll show you some more good okay so now the second part of the independent driving so this one is going to be a lot of right turns so first of all you're going to have a roundabout come up so it's going to be right, third exit, like that. Yeah. And then the third road on the right, quite a way down. And then the end of that road, right. Okay. So it's right third, right third, end right. Okay. Just help, there is a big church there just before the turn. Okay. If that helps out. Got him? So I've got a okay. diagram there. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. If you forget any of those, let me know. Doesn't matter. You can always ask. Are they all end of the road, right? No. So it's no. around about right, third exit. And then? Then right third exit on a normal road. Okay, so the third right, yeah. okay, on a Just normal road. Just remember third right, third right, right, end right. Okay, cool, all right. Then. Then. It is a hard one, so if you're not sure, let me know, I can repeat that. Okay, thank you.
be making notes by the way as you drive, so tell me about that. Just, just, um, just help me remember. I'm just going to carry on driving. Okay. Now we'll pull up on the left just after where the van is. Again, drive where it don't matter. It's not too far after the first driveway. Okay, and when it's safe, we'll carry on. Second road on the left. And at the end of the road, we'll go left. that tunnel um, we're going to take a road on the left it's very hard to see okay. if you look out on the right there's normally a big billboard kind of post thing that white poster there it's just opposite that left yeah. yep it, it does come up but it's there but it's very hard to see I have to tell you you've gone past the other ways you might be still be looking for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think the next round. Yeah, uh, we should just carry on. We'll keep going straight ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll pull up on the left, uh, anywhere around this area. The driveways don't matter, because you can't avoid driveways. Okay, money's safe, we'll carry on.
the end of the road you're going to follow the road ahead. It's kind of top left, but it's just ahead. left and then first right. I'm going to pull up on the left again, drive roads don't matter. We're trying to avoid them, but it doesn't really matter. Good. So I was going to reset this camera now. Right now, the next thing I'm going to do is <coughs> the parallel parking. So if you can pull up next to the car, not the one that's just pulled up, but the one further up than that. Okay. Can't see it's grey, I think it was a grey car. Uh, we're going to pull up next to that car and then do the parking so you finish close to the curb and parallel. Okay. Ready? When you're ready, that's up to you. Okay. Don't worry about the driver on this occasion, you can park in front of the driveway. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, we'll carry on. If you're going to reset that mirror before you go, this doesn't matter about the testimony. Uh, the examiners can tell you to do that, it doesn't matter, it doesn't make any difference. Okay. Uh, the reason being, you don't need that mirror legally. Okay, 
Okay, so end of the road, we'll go left. Next road on the left. And then we're going to pull up on the left and again, drive roads don't matter anywhere around this area. Okay, so sure we're going to do the emergency stop. So okay. we're going to drive down the road, the signal I'll give you will be stop. When I start up, just stop the car as quickly and safe as you can. Um, please don't do it till I say stop, because some people do it just whenever they feel like it. Yeah. Um, I'll check around first, so don't worry about that. Okay. Okay, so when you're ready, we'll carry on. and just ready for me to give you the signal. All right. When it's safe, we'll carry on. I won't ask you to do that again, so I'll say stop again. I don't mean emergency. <laughs> like that, okay. <clears throat> and at the end of the road, we'll go right. The next road on the right just past the sign that says Yardley Wood.
roundabout we're going left first exit And about we'll go left first exit again. roundabout you'll be right I'm gonna go left.
the roundabout will go right third exit. Second road on the left back where we begun. Uh, we're gonna try and park somewhere down that road. Keep it pretty slow, we're just gonna have a look for a parking space. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is it all go next road on the left? We'll pull up down there because it's a bit easier down there to park. Right, 
No, we'll come up. There's some further one we're going to pull up towards the end of the road. Okay. We can do down here because not being a real touchy, then I don't have to walk back to the centre. <laughs> but, uh, right, somewhere after that door still have gone on the left. So we're going to just pass that. Okay. If we give it pretty slow, there's normally one just around here, let's see. Mm. Now we'll go a little bit further. Say? Just a little bit further. Oh, no. So I just find that tree will be good on left. We'll keep okay. quite far back from the end. As soon as that curve gets quite big. That's good. Right, if you want to secure the car, then switch off there. That's good. If you want to turn it back to number two, I'm just going to put his window down a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, come on, off. Right, then. so before we give you the result, what do you think of that? Um, it's alright, but bits of it were bad. Yep, which bits? Um. The bit I can only remember really at the end there where I've just parked, stopped in the <laughs> yeah, Deborah, on the pedestrian crossing. Yep. So before we give the result, I'm just going to turn this camera off and back on again. I've got to say before, but this camera can only record for 25 minutes. Then you have to turn it off, then on. Um, so I'm just going to reset this. Okay, so yeah, there would have been about um, three or four main points that I want to go over. But it's not as bad as it looks. It looks like you've got loads of faults, but it's only it's a similar thing that comes up on a few occasions. Um, we'll go from as we went through, sort of top to bottom. So, the gear one was a minor. What do you reckon with that? Because there's something with the gears that was going to be wrong. It wasn't a massive thing, but it was stuff every now and then it was happening. Um, I, don't, I don't know. So, when you turn these corners a few times, when you go down to one, you don't need to. You can just stay in two and just go. Oh, right, and it's all right. coming out of one and it's all jumping a bit of banging. Right. So, it's not a major thing, but it's just it's something that's can, you just don't have to come down so much. Um, the steering is one, you know, so the beginning is just where we turn a few corners, we kind of went past them a bit, which is to do with the gears of all, because you kind of went past the corner, mm -hmm. then turn back in, and then turn back in. There's one where we turned right on the independent driving, and we could have been in a much better position, but we sort of stayed too far left. Yeah. And that then made you, your steering go a bit wonky. Um, the moving away into control was a minor, because we had that one where we, um, what was that? And it wasn't in gear. Yeah, that's and it. it. Was on the that's one. It could be a gear, folks, you weren't in gear, but um, I put it as moving away into control. Um, I should point out the way this is marked is because I'm not a real examiner you don't know exactly how it's marked um, when you become an examiner you have to do a course which goes on about a month you have to go to this place in Milton Keynes I think it is and you're there from 9 to 5 Monday to Friday for 4 weeks learning how to mark so these marks aren't exactly the same as a real test but the result will be the same um, the emergency stop was good, just a little bit quicker because he was why did that go a bit slower because he was good but it wasn't as much of a bite as it could have been no, what, what was that? No, when you braked, it was a bit soft in a way. Oh, I just didn't hit the brake hard enough, never. It was like clutching down a little bit early. Because yeah. you start well, but you're clutching a bit early, so you, you kind of feel the car pull a bit. Right. It's not bad, it still starts, but it's a bit, a bit kind of sort of brake and then clutch afterwards to get more power right, on the brake. Okay. Um, reverse parking again wasn't that bad, but I'd put control and observation. The control was just because you went forward and back a little bit. Um, all you had to really do was come back and it was done. Because yeah. you went forward, but you didn't have to, because you just had the film. It wasn't much, but it was in the film just about. Um, the observation, where do you need to be looking when you park? Where's like the main place? Because it's all, like, all around, but where's the main one? At the back Yeah, one, that's yeah. it. There's quite a bit when I was going like that, and you weren't looking back. You did it, but not, not as much as you could. Um, but it wasn't that bad. It, it could have been so straight, but you can always get it straight. So it, it's one of those you can always work on. But it's not that bad. Um, the serious ones will go over now, the more serious ones. Um, what did you notice about the signals? The signals? Yeah. I'm not sure. There's a few times on the roundabout where we did the independent drive in the second part. You went onto it, then you went round, then you should have right. So you didn't signal until after you started going round. Um, right. So you got to signal well back, because yeah, the roundabout yeah. was there and we weren't signaling. You might notice also going on that checking if anyone was around, because if there had been, I might have had to say you need to indicate. Yeah. Um, there's that one, there's another one um, towards the end, you know where we had that moped behind us, a little scooter thing. Yeah. Um, you notice when he beeps, the reason he beeps is because you, you signalled sort of a bit late and then you went, so you come up in the right and you sort of went left, then you went right. So you kind of land your path, was, it took, the path you took him in it was a bit kind of wonky. Right, okay. Um, he was just honking so you know where you're going because you're sort of a bit confused. Um, and there's a few others I when it's a little bit late, you do them but they're quite late, so you, so you know that one we had on the way. Yeah. But we got to the end of that road. Um, we'll go over that in a bit because all these things are going to go over. Um, 
The injury hesitancy is only a couple of times you could go and you're not going. I'm not that worried about that because that, that's much better than it was. Um, so in the past we had a bit of trouble with that, but that's gone much, much better. Um, the turning right, um, any idea what that was? That was a serious one. Think back to the independent driving. Do you remember what happened on that? On the, the very last bit of the independent driving. Um... Do you remember we said get end of the road right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then what do you do on that one? It's quite awkward, it's, it's a hard junction, but for draw the swing, you need the road like that. Oh, the pavement there and the road there. Mm -hmm. Like that. Then we came from this way and we turned right to the end. Where did we go on that? I'm not sure. You know when you went ahead and right was good, but you yeah. went into the, the one lane? You were, in, you were going out the coming in lane. Because that's really, you should have gone forwards. Wait, and then go. Because when you went to begin with, I thought you were going to go down the wrong way, but then you, you sort of turn back and wait there. Oh. And then went. Right, so it, okay. It's badly signed the road because there isn't a no entry sign there. There's nothing saying left or any or right only. So right. it's really badly signed. How would you know that though? Because there is one way you can tell. It's not the most obvious, but there is one way you can tell. Something to do with the markings on the floor, which themselves are quite faint, but they are there. I don't know, I, di I didn't really so, notice the markings at all, really. So when you give way there, you've got to give way on those lines. Oh, right, okay. Because, you know, you've got, like, normal roads, you got, this road hasn't gone in, but you've got to give way, and you got the coming in. Yeah. It's just, there wasn't anyone there, but if there had been, you would have been no, here over them. No, that's, yeah, yeah, really. yeah, I understand. Um, oh, yeah. I know that route really, we haven't done before, but this is why I wanted to try, because yeah. it's a much more, kind of, tricky route, because you don't know the area at all. Yeah. Um, and the other one, this was the main one, the first one that came up, um, the meeting traffic. You know, we had that bridge where that woman came the other way. Yeah. How could you approach that better? Slower, maybe. Yep, that's it. Because you come up and you stop, but when you stop, you'd already kind of gone. So they struggled to get through, and there's sort of three cars that are sort of struggling to get past us. Um, so we're going to have a look at that now. It's just about when you when you get there, you've got to keep way, way back. Who had a right of way on that one? Nobody. That's it. So no one has right away. So how would you know that was coming up? Because there's a couple of things on the way that warn you. Some signs. Yep, that's it. So you get a narrow road and it says something like slow down, warning, something like that. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look at that now. But all you got to do is keep way away back, stop, stop, stop. Um, that car wasn't going to stop because you tell they were going but before we got there. We were breaking a bit, but they were coming through. Um, so you just keep way away back and be ready to, to hold back on those. Um, there is another one I'm trying to think of. I didn't mark it down. But those are the main three. Oh yeah, the other one I mentioned, the um, uh, the crossing at the end. Yeah. The reason I didn't put that as a serious, because although you stopped on it, you weren't blocking it for longer, there's no one around. Um, that could be better just because when you went, you can go before the van, you didn't slow down, but it's better not to go, because that van was going to be quite quick. So if you go out quick, you then go, you haven't got many anywhere to go. Yeah. So best to just hold back, look, 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 and then just wait and wait and go and you can definitely go. Um, and how you get marked on that depends, because what can happen is, if you've got, so we had three sort of serious faults, there weren't always mark you on that because they don't want to make you feel too bad. Um, there was one time when an examiner marked someone really bad and the pupil attacked him and he punched him. So they don't always oh mark God. that bad um, because they don't want to get assaulted, but there might be things on there they've kind of held back. Um, yeah, there's nothing else certainly that, but they don't always mark you to the, to yeah. the full extent. Um, so that's about it. Anything you want to go over? No, that's that's fine. So we'll go work on those things now. Um, we can fix that. It's all really the same thing. It's all about the planning. You know, the, the meeting on the bridge, the signals, it's all the planning ahead. Um, it's not disastrous. We'll fix that up and then we'll get that done. Okay, so let's go and work on that. Okay. Okay, so that's the mock driving test finished. Um, I should point out that doing mock tests is not easy, so I, I forgot to say thanks to her at the end. But um, yeah, thanks for doing that because it's not easy for a learner to drive at all. Um, and to do a mock is quite hard. To do a mock on video and know that you're going to be put on YouTube is even harder. So I do appreciate that. Um, if anyone out there thinks, oh that was easy, you should have done this, you should have done that. Well, you come and have a go. I welcome anyone to come and visit me and do a driving test. So you can contact me through tests at firstdrive.com. You can also like my video if you like it. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, all of those are on firstdrive.com. There are links on there. Um, yeah, so feel free to contact me, tests at firstdrive.com. Come and do a test. If you sit back and think, oh, it's easy, it's not easy. Um, it's easy for you to sit there now and wind it back and say, oh, look, play it back, play it back. Should have done this, could have done this. 
Well, shortly after we did that lock, in fact, only minutes after, um, we went round and did some of the routes again after talking about it. And here's some video now which shows you how it was done only a few minutes later. And this just shows how you can easily fail the test on three or four things, and then minutes later you can have passed it if you do the same things differently. So here's the end of the video to show you what happened. Let's see, camera just going. I got a shot. Right